sorry if my hair looks like it's kind of messy. It's like 2 o'clock right now that I'm filming this at. So like the day is literally almost gone. So that's why my hair looks like this. <laughs> up you guys it's emmy welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be filming the first back to school video for 2018 i'm super excited because we're going to continue with the school series hashtag education in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys some middle school advice and tips and also answer some of your guys questions that you have about school i'm mainly going to focus on middle school because that's what i want this video to be about if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and let's get started so first off we're gonna start with the tips and advice about middle school I have a list on my phone right here so I'll be reading it off from there the first tip is to be yourself I feel like everyone says this but it actually helps because people want to be your friend for who you are and they don't want to be friends with someone that's like fake and not themselves next is to make plenty of friends I'm not saying to like ditch your old friends but just make new friends to have like varieties and options well not like you're choosing over your friends, but you get it. This next one is a big one because you have to be on top of like your homework and projects for middle school. It is to not procrastinate. You have to plan out wisely and make sure that you're productive. Because if you wait till the last minute, then you're probably not gonna give 100% effort into what you're supposed to do. But just don't like cram it all into one last day. Obviously you don't have to go by these tips, but if you just want to have a fun year or whatever in middle school then you can follow these tips or not it's up to you next is to don't overthink the stereotype of middle school so people are like oh middle school is like so hard like oh my gosh it's the drama no this also goes on to the next tip stay out of drama last year i wasn't in any drama and i had a super fun year don't think of middle school as what everyone else says it is hopefully that made sense also be kind to everyone because you don't know what they're going through maybe they just need a friend by their side and lastly participate in like club maybe after school extracurricular activities just like be involved okay now let's move on to the question and answers part so this first question is from augusta lawson and she said how did you survive seventh grade btw i love you so much thank you i survived seventh grade by basically all the tips i gave you guys mostly to be productive and don't procrastinate and also oh here's another tip have perseverance don't give up and it's not the end of the world if you like get a bad grade on a test you'll bring it up trust me this next question is by angelina marie and she says is middle school as bad as people say it is this is also what I said about don't think about like the stereotype. It's not bad. I had a super amazing time, but it may be different for other people. So I guess you'd have to just wait and find out. Sorry if that's not the answer you were looking for, but that's all I could really say. Any tips for studying by, I think, Janela Woodard. Sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but I definitely would say make your own study guide. Write the things you already know for sure and then you like look back to the stuff that you need to remember and write them down maybe use blue ink i heard that's great for your brain to memorize stuff and also use flashcards. this next question is how to make real friends by monkey rblx just make friends with as many people as you want and then choose the one that you think that will be like there to help you i feel like it's like a gut feeling about real friends i think you just have to say for yourself this next question is by c powell i think that's how you say it and she's says my question is what advice do you give preteen slash teen girls who get stressed about the huge amounts of homework teachers get Just get on top of the homework and do the hard stuff first so you get that out of the way and you don't have to stress about that at like 12 o'clock at night and then do the easy stuff last and also start your homework once you get home because I did that and I still ended homework around like 7 o'clock at night and ask questions in class if you're like confused so then at home you can understand it this next question is from Hannah Slays one and she says what's your favorite subject my favorite subject is math it's always been my favorite subject I don't know I like to work things out until I get it right this next question is all about Anaya I think that's how you say it my question is what is your weakest subject and what do you do to get better at it so I'm going off based on grades so my lowest grade this year was in math it wasn't like a bad grade but I just 
just make my own study guides. I study more than what I need to do. And then if I like finished homework for that subject, then I would like practice doing it some more. How many classes do you have to take in seventh grade? By Harmony C. So I took seven classes in seventh grade. What is your favorite subject and what is your least favorite subject? My favorite subject is math and my least favorite subject would have to be history. So that concludes my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I also hoped it helped you guys out. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.